said, hey, welcome to the A-Full Podcast. Yeah. You know, don't you hate it when somebody answers their own questions? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Late reaction. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the A Fool Podcast. It's all over my head. <laughs> Speaking of over my head, we got two great guys up here. I'm Earl, aka Mardi Gras Man, and we are in Joey's basement as usual. This is Brick Change Channel. He's up there, and mm-hmm. over here is Jabo. Woo-hoo! Jabo is doing some organization, so I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very slow process. Well, it, it took 50 years to get here, so I guess, I guess yeah, in the next 50 years I'll be organized. That's the thing about organizing. You get so gung-ho and you want to do it, and then three hours later you're like, that's all I've done? Uh, yeah, I, I spent two days, and the only thing I did was sort track, train track. But I got it all, the bulk of it organized now so now when i get uh, something in i got a, a place to put it that that has been yeah you i was watching yeah i watched your video the other day because when i did the uh uh the 104 loop on my the art 104 radius loop i had to switch out a lot of tracks so i pulled up a lot of plastic just mm-hmm. rc track and i had to find my nine volt straight track and, and yeah, that's crazy. I mean, the amount of track that you accumulate. Because I know you're just like me. I'm not selling track. Yeah, and it, well, you had asked the question about that about selling maybe the curve. curve. Right? Yeah, I think I put that in the notes. Yeah, uh, I always want to make sure me. I have all the track that goes with the sets that I bought. Uh, right, but any that's like extra. That's the one thing. There's the the track that I will part with. <laughs> Is flex track and curve track that doesn't go with a set that I own. Right, right. I just, I, I, you know, I have more curve. The old thing, it's, it's. Everybody always accumulates more curve track than they do straight. Just, mm-hmm. just the way it was, right? Because they usually gave you what two or four pieces of straight to yeah. a full eight pieces for a circle. So yeah. <laughs> Ah, yes. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's good to get organized. It's just now i got to work on the next. So I just did the vintage track. Now i got to do the 9-volt track and power functions track. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Which I don't have. Well, it's don't pretty good that you, you have it all together, though. Yeah. So, I mean, you're just sorting it, but at least it's not every box has a few here and a few there that you got to go dig it all out. See, that's the problem when you have a large collection and you do stuff with some of the collection. When you get done with it, my my the error I made was I would never go back and put everything back in the original box. So now that now I got track in different boxes. So like every time it's so all these videos I, I did over the years when I would build a something on the table to to film the video, like running the track, I'd have to oh I need to get some track. So I get some track out. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like well, I don't want to keep reassembling this track, so I'm going to keep it here near the table. <laughs> and then I forget about it. like, And then I get more track out later. And, oh, right. I forgot I already had this other track set out where right. I could get to it. You, know, I just... <laughs> you need to get organized, straightened out enough so that you have a permanent layout that you don't have to mm-hmm. do that. You just That's one thing. Like your HO trains. Or, or not, not yours, yeah. but brick trains or brick. That's the guy, yeah. Yeah. So well, he's bad. he's attempted to do that a few times. Well, <laughs> I think Lego just lends itself to not only forever sorting but forever organizing. It just seems like it's always just a. a so have have you ever went back under your tables to look through your tubs? Me? Yeah, you did like two videos where you went through tubs. I yeah. <laughs> I, 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 have you ever I have went not. Back? <laughs> I've never went back. No, I got like uh, pretty negative feedback on being under the table. I don't. I don't know. It was early on in the thing. Might be something I'm going to go and do again. But mm-hmm. I, I know what's in them because I know okay. Brick, Brickset has them. Right? I got you. Inventoried at Brickset. So for me, it's not. 
unless I'm looking for something. The other day I was looking for some Indiana Jones stuff, and it's it's under there. I just ain't gone and got it, but it's just boxes and boxes. It's boxes and boxes. You're right. Yeah. Who taught us that? Davo. <laughs> Sorry. Davo. Davo. <laughs> <laughs> oh just, my god just don't do what i did i started piecing together a set then i end up I, when i was looking for something else i found the actual set oh. i already had it oh and i'm already this deep into <laughs> piecing one together so i might keep the other one sealed i don't know yeah that's oh if, yeah you got one sealed yeah, that's and, yeah. Good idea. heck yeah that you know because it, you know they melt, right? Yes, <laughs> some melt worse than others. You, yeah, your globe is totally melted. So I uh, we it wouldn't we noticed that it wouldn't spin. Mm. So the Lego Ideas globe and right. the little there's a ring up there that the little clips connect for each section of the globe, and some of them had they just I did they just separated. Yeah. Because I didn't touch the globe for a long time, and it's, so I just think with gravity mm. and time, it just they separated because it was only on one side. Mm -hmm. so it's, <laughs> and so where I was hanging time, off, yeah. So it was still looks like it's together, but it wouldn't spin. It would hit the the support, the little C. And, and so in or, in trying to fix it, a piece would pop off here, a piece mm. would pop off there. It's it just like the more I tried to fix it, the more pieces fell off to the point I was like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. And nice. it's, it was a nice build for one time. It's not a very good display piece as far as longevity. Long, yeah. <laughs> That's one that yeah. probably didn't get a lot of testing on. Just set it on a shelf and see what it does in six months if it's still yeah. playable. Well, you know, the thing about a globe is that if you see one, what are you going to do? You're going to go touch it and spin it. Yeah. And Lego one has built it with functionality to spin it, but apparently right. you can't touch it. <laughs> right. <laughs> as as you don't, well, this is the thing. It might have broke without even touching it. It just it, gravity yeah. did it in. Yeah. The, eventually the weight of the parts overcame the clutch power yeah. of the little clippings. Yeah. So. And uh, we've had other things like uh, there was the uh, Imperial, not the Imperial Star Destroyer, the, uh, the Darth Vader ship. Um, would oh, uh, it, it sorry, would, Star Wars fans. It would tend to sag. <clears throat> really? So some, of the, some of the bigger sets, depending on how long you s display them, they might sag. Hmm. Um, but like you said, the melting problem. I mean, any set can suffer from the melting. But you know, old sets, that wasn't really a problem. But of course, they were smaller, simpler yeah. builds. Yeah, simpler so, builds, yeah. and they didn't have as many pieces. Yeah, the, the the yeah the 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 detail that they put in the sets nowadays just lean lends to the the less. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. They were just like, if you're moving houses, you might as well just rebuild everything. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't understand how people take stuff to conventions anymore. That is, yeah. That is, yeah. To, well, you know, that's why, you know, big conventions are you show up three days ahead because that's mm -hmm. all you're doing is rebuilding, putting it together. So, yeah. Mm. Well, do we want to uh, talk about some of our stuff from the pile or we want to jump into the. Well, let's, new... do we have do we have a do we have a set from the vault or we're going to I, I go don't with... have a set. I have a book of sets. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to do I a theme the, uh, highlight. We, we're, arguably is either. The best Lego ideal book or the second best Lego ideal book. Um, if you think it's not in the top two, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's the 777 Lego ideal book. This is 12 volt, four and a half volt. I always call it the 12 volt one, but it, it has both battery trains and the 12 volt trains. And it has, I was showing Joey this, we, um, cause he has the book, he knows about it, but yes, the space themed box car. This oh, is man. literally the first build. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, as Joey said, you'd have to build more than one. <laughs> the blue doors might be a challenge. I'm not sure what set those are in. Uh, you mm. probably could substitute something different if you wanted. Is there any uh, chance those were in a uh, an idea set? 
No. They're in odd, didn't know. No. And there's one thing I wanted to point out in here in this book. Is, is, is if you use the word trains, is the verb is or are? Because uh, trains are fun may be wrong. Because it says the great thing about Lego trains is that they can be built in many different ways. No, right? I think it's are. Trains. So am are. I using? Tra- <laughs> no, I think it's are. It should be. Is Lego are. trains? Do you use the singular <laughs> verb or the plural <laughs> verb? Um, I got, I got, I want, uh, you know, I was just well, you could say, you English. could say Lego trains is a, or Lego you say train Lego tra- is, or you say Lego train is a, or you say Lego trains are. Okay. So this Lego. says Lego trains is that they, so, so no, if, if no, it should say are. I think oh, I know what I, I know what it is. I'm put, I'm seeing the word Lego trains. But the noun that goes with the verb isn't Lego trains, it's thing. It says the great thing okay. about Lego trains is. Okay, yeah, so the, the grammar thing. police can get off my back now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When I, when I saw that trains is, I was, I was so wrapped up in the, that noun being there. <laughs> so that book was sold separately, right? Yeah, yeah. This was, a, I don't know how much it would have been, but it was not available in the U.S., Oh uh, yes, another. Yeah. And, and there's one other point in the um, in the in the uh, forward in this book that I'd like to mention. It says because it's, you know it has all these great ideas, and it's like it'd be super expensive to build everything that's if you want to build everything at once, or even just one of the things, because all this stuff's discontinued now. And, right. and even then, when this stuff was out, it. it there were probably weren't a lot of people that could afford to get all the different sets to build all the different. I mean, they got, tra- it's not just trains, it's accessories that go with the trains. But what it says here, it says, you may not have exactly all the pieces used in the various model suggestions. Do not let that stop you. That's what it says. <laughs> so I guess it's encouraging us to steal. <laughs> I don't have the parts. I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm not going to let that stop me. I must have to steal them then. Well, when that came out, that would have been an interesting time, right? In 1981, because there wouldn't have been a pick a brick wall yet. No. We were past the parts packs for the most part. They did have some. They, they it, In the 80s is when they they had a lot of service packs. Yeah, that's, yeah. When, that's when you would order, like, basically you'd order a lot of pieces, but it was... A bag with a lot in it, right? Like a, a service pack, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, of red two by four or a service right. pack, right? Yeah, but so but not a lot of the pieces that you would need to build all that stuff. You would have had to buy sets. No, to buy that. I don't. I, I just the ones I remember seeing in the catalogs were the trees and the road signs and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't really. Maybe I didn't pay attention to it because I wasn't interested in just the bricks. But. Surprisingly, that book's not terribly expensive to still buy. Really? On the it used to be, well, it used to be expensive, but I guess there's more of them are starting to surface. I guess sixteen but, to twenty dollars. Because usually, I was thinking more would be closer to forty to fifty dollars <throat> now uh, from a reseller. But it probably was like a two dollars when it was when it's yeah you know, when it was in stores. Well, I just looked up seven seven seven. I mean, there isn't a second version right not 1981 no, i'm only seeing no, one version yeah yeah it, so yeah you can get it for under 20 bucks you got to probably cost you 20 dollars in shipping to get it from europe yeah because it's probably from a european seller yeah I, I don't see any in the united states not in the first page anyway yeah and the doors to make that great space train are they're less than 20 cents a piece oh cool so i uh, See, uh, yeah. so now not only tipper trucks from Europe, <laughs> but doors. I'm going to add these to my wanted list. I'm going to build a space train. Well, let me look and see real quick how many in the United States, because I know those doors, I bet, are not a lot. Eh. Yeah, you can get them in the United States, but they're going to cost you more like 40 cents from a United oh, okay. States seller. So. so you need four to build the... That's true. I didn't really think about that. Yeah, you need yeah. two on each side, plus you need a string of those. So I'm thinking, what, 10? Well, you could do it like the new <laughs> Disney train and just have doors on one side. <laughs> have you seen the new Disney train? No, I guess not. It, it doesn't a Lego look Disney like, train? 
Yeah. It, it does. It doesn't look like that bad of value considering you get like five or six minifigs with it. it it's not like a train train, Joey. No. Okay. No, what have I missed? It's, but it's, it's more it, like a toy, like. You push along the floor. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. You, all, you only see it if you look at it from the. It's not made to look at it from the back. It's uh, it's one of my most favorite sets. You sit behind it so everybody can see. <laughs> <laughs> set four, three, two, one, two. Yeah, it's like a junior set. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> but, what, so, so how many how many figs are in that set? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And was it retail for? Does it say thirty? Is it forty dollars? Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Yep. So, I Here mean, I can show the screen real quick. Five dollars a minifig. <laughs> that's thirty bucks. Yeah. CMS cost you five dollars a piece, right? Mm-hmm. So I guess it's not yeah. a bad value. These are sad wheels. Sad. Yeah. So sad. But I guess it, it's made more to be like the. Uh, it's not based on a train that runs on tracks anyway. It's based on s something that isn't that what the little thing that goes through the park or something. It, That's it, what it looks like to me. It looks like to me it's based on the the little parade that runs. Yeah, there you go. Yes, I, it's what but I would call they, it as a parade float more than. But anything. they've linked them together instead of being in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I like but appa apparently it was a giveaway for the l the land because I've there's people reviewing them. Really? Uh, yeah. I must not follow as many land members on YouTube as as I do on Instagram. <laughs> I mean, I don't well, know. either that or people are getting early releases somehow. Yeah. Jacefer has it. I didn't know he was in. Jacefer apparently gets a lot of stuff early somehow. Okay. I, I don't actually. I mean, I follow him, but I'll see stuff that he's opening and that hasn't been released publicly yet, officially. So somewhere, one of his suppliers must put stuff out early. He must have a store that always puts stuff out early. I was gonna say he he might have an inside track somewhere. I, I know our when our Toys R Us was uh when when Toys R Us was a thing, our Evansville store seemed to be. Uh, kind of loosey goosey out the back door <laughs> with yeah. early release stuff. And, and just for anybody who doesn't know, because like we're in a whole different generation of people now. When I started YouTube, the channels that would get recommended to me were Brick Show, mm -hmm. Brick Queen, and Jay Stiffer. <laughs> wow. So he, he, he was like one of the originals. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard to imagine. Way back then, I got like a guy named Brickzar all the time. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, about that. I still. It's crazy because I still get recommended older videos, and I'm and I look at them, and sometimes I'll click on them. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is, this is three years. I've I've already seen and commented on this video. <laughs> yep. yeah. I I so I have done the thing where I have not only re watched a video that I. And that I've already watched before and not realize it, but I've left a comment <laughs> and then I go back and look at the comments. And I'm like, Oh my goodness. I watched this video like three years ago and left almost the exact same comment. <laughs> I'm more like an idiot. <laughs> oh man. So that, that vault set book is going to lead us into our new segment. Yes. Which is, I think uh, so. What are we, Gonna highlight highlight a theme or highlight a. This is. Yeah, gonna... I was thinking. Yeah, we could just maybe talk about a theme and what things that we like about it, or what we missed. By... <laughs> so, or, or our theme is trains, or the twelve volt theme, right? Oh uh, yeah, the, the, the yeah, I didn't know how to word it like the twelve volt era, which would be nineteen eighty, right? To whenever they stopped in in the eighties. So sorry for our audio listeners. Sorry to our not for our but to our audio listeners because I'm going to bring up a screen <laughs> and show you all the great stuff from 1980 12 volt theme. Yeah. Oh, you guys get to see what I own and what I don't own and what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, this brings back bracket memories. Yeah. <laughs> so so for those that don't know. Here in the U.S., we did not have this full range 
No. There were some of these things that were in the U.S. Uh, I think that... Um, the only two I ever remember seeing when I was a kid was that red one and the yellow one. Yeah. Red one and the yellow one. The one that, yeah, the red one was at the top. I haven't seen the yellow this one. This diesel. Oh, the yellow one. The yellow one at the top, and I haven't seen the red one yet. There's a red one that's similar to that. It's oh, okay. got a higher number. Yeah. Those are the actually, only two. Actually, this is this is just from 1980. Yeah. yeah. So we'd have to go something. But they were over. they were available for a few years because I can remember seeing mm -hmm. them, seeing them, and I guess the bulk of my childhood sets was probably in the 82, 83, 84, and I can remember. But that's I me. Mean, I never even knew you couldn't get them in the states. I just never understood. While I never saw them in the stores. Right. Oh, look a double du a double tipper wagon. Yeah. <laughs> a double yeah. tipper. But now we're getting back to the seventies. <laughs> yeah, I, unfortunately, I went. Yeah, uh, I can. So, to for those that may not be aware, the confusion becomes because there is a twelve volt from the blue track era, mm -hmm. and twelve volt from the gray track era, and so I'm fo we're focusing it on the the gray track. Uh -huh. Right. Era. Yeah. And the the one that I remember, like uh, Lego, my James O just did a review. Of yeah. That. That's the one. It's a battery operated train, which I think came out in 1985. Okay, I was gonna say it's not here. Yeah. <clears throat> that was a great train that he did. The the. Yeah. And that, that's the first one I remember seeing in person in stores. Really? And I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. I remember I was, I think it was a Toys R Us and they had one of the, you know how Toys R Us, I mean, think about this. This was probably around like 1990. So this tr set had already been in stores probably for a while, but the, Toys R Us was always bad about having a sale, but it didn't apply to certain things. And so they had the sale mm -hmm. and there's, I forget what the percentage was off. And, so I, and I think that train was like $60. Which was a lot of money to me in 1990. Sure. And uh, take it up there, and then they, it rings up full price. And I said, "No, this is on sale." And they're like, "No, it doesn't apply to that." And I was—I just remember sitting there, just being like, "Why not?" <laughs> I was so mad, and I ended right. up—I put it back, and then I regretted it later because then it was shortly after that when nine volt trains came around that I didn't see that in the stores anymore. That set, so I missed yeah. getting it. Hmm. That stinks. Yeah, I, that I would have been the same way. I would have gotten upset about the discount not being applied. And but the thing about twelve volts is that that's when it seemed like they were trying to make it a model railway. Yeah, yes. and that is the the it, that would that's what makes it stand out from all the other train themes. I think that one thing. And if you go down to the bottom of the page here. Scroll down a little further. You see what Earl was talking about, like all these accessories. Mm -hmm. That that is the seventy eight sixty, the remote control tw signal twelve volt. That's probably the most important <laughs> accessory pack ever made <laughs> of any kind, because that is the one that allows you to uh, use. What they, I think in model trains, it's like block wiring where you can yes. you is electrically isolate sections of the track mm -hmm. where you can run multiple trains from one transformer at different times. Right. Yeah. You have stop blocks where you just you would put it in the siding and then you turn it off. Yeah. 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 That, is, that is an incredibly powerful piece right there. Yeah. Yeah. And it's one of those things that the a casual like somebody who just came across a bulk lot of 12 volt track they're not going to know that that um insulated rail that's the centerpiece is different from the other ones you get yeah. i mean it's got a notch in it where there's it doesn't conduct electricity I don't know there if you're in the and picture. there no it's huh <laughs> i think it's not in the picture oh the the isolation can you scroll up? Or no, the picture cuts it off. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not trying to get you to scroll the <laughs> image. <laughs> that's when you kind of try to look down and you can't see. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, you don't think that's the isolating? Okay, maybe line that right is. there. 
No, that's where that's the the gap in the track. I mean, well, I get the, uh, that. Yeah, yeah but uh, okay. I'm trying to move my mouse. <laughs> hey, it's it's about usually about three quarters of the way, but these it might be in the middle. Hmm. Was there another? Let me look. It's just the, one of the rails had it. Actually, right. if you look, well, it took. Let me see. There's another image. If it's a better image. Okay, there way. you go. Can you zoom in on that image? There it is, right there in the middle, right? Okay, it is in the middle. Well, that's in the middle of that section. I don't know how big yeah. that section. Yeah. What's this up here? I wish I could zoom no, in on this little. Where bit. you're pointing at is where the two sections join. The two different right. sections join. Two of these. But th but yeah, that. I guess it is, yeah. Joined together. Yeah. But yeah, there is a little. There might be two different versions of that track, then, is what I'm thinking. <laughs> might be. Well, it's showing this as being the length of the rail. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So up here is one of these sections. And There's two rails. You got two yeah, rails, yeah. two sets of rails. Yeah. yeah. But to your point, is most people, if unless they're, they won't notice that little. Yeah, section it's, right there, and it's realize a difference that. between a dollar and ten dollar piece, right. basically. <laughs> right, right. But uh, the thing that, um, so I love all this that you you have like the accessories, you have the remote control switches, you have lights, you have um, what else do they have? The if you want had the automatic crossing gate thing. <laughs> If right. you want to go see a good setup using it all, look at what is it? Arjun? How do you pronounce his name? Almighty Arjun. Almighty Arjun. Almighty Arjun. I say Arjun, but it's probably Arjun. Uh, uh, yeah. And the other guy that just started uh, collecting just in the last couple of years, he's been buying. Who's that guy that's been buying the boxed sets? Um, oh, I'm never going to remember. Uh, uh, I just I started. Can, yeah, I'd have to, I just I started that. following him. He's been I, buying. He's a young guy, but he's been buying 12 volt trains in the box. Yeah, I just watched a whole, well, I don't know, a bunch of his videos, but I watched, yes. And I I have to scroll through my YouTube thing to see real quick. And if I did that, I'd lose. I one. thought I subscribed to him. Why is he not showing up in my subscriptions? Yeah, he's the he, one that he just not too long ago showed off his collection with the. Yeah. Yeah, and he he does different light. He'll do different layouts, which is the 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 drawback after forty years is with the twelve of all the tracks systems. Twelve volt is the worst to disassemble. Yeah, that's oh, what I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm thinking that's more like a set it up, build a layout, not a city, a layout, and leave it. Leave it. Because when I say like you talking about Almighty Art and yeah, he 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 set that up on the floor, uh -huh. right? So it's like I'd be so worried. I mean, he might leave it there for a while, but I imagine he picks it all up. At he some does. Point. He talks about it. it. That's like three and six month projects. He yeah, does. right, right. And just like how much stuff breaks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and you know we. We expect Lego to last forever. And, you know, we give Brittle Blue, we give Brittle mm -hmm. Blue and the Browns, and I'm sorry, I just caught my eye, and all of a sudden there was a splinter I had to get out of my brain that that, that needed to be fixed. At any rate, we, we expect it. But some of this stuff, these trains are getting 40, 30, 40, 50 years old, and nobody should be expecting plastic of that vintage to not be brittle anymore. Yeah. It can't, yeah. you know, it can't be brand new in the box still. So even if it is brand new in the box, the plastic. So if you have stuff that's old, you shouldn't be using it to make mocks. Is what you're saying? Just build it and leave it. Don't ever mess with it again. Well, I mean, that sounds bad, but yeah, I mean, it's yeah, well, you're not going to be able to yeah. take it apart and put it together. That's uh, yeah. I don't think the problem is building it; it's the taking it apart and rebuilding it and taking it apart. Yeah. I think but, if you build it, you leave it. So I, I had somebody comment well, when I showed a picture when I was – I took apart the uh, train. It actually was in the picture you showed earlier, the 7822, I think it is. train The train, the one with the bridge. The 7822. The one that yes, you just yes. got, right? Yeah. So yeah. You, I broke a piece building it. I right. broke another piece with it just sitting there. I bumped into it with my – 
and, and it, it broke one of the uh, the light posts. So it's got the the light post that piece broke. Right. The, one of the it's got the six by twenty four plates. There's six nine of them on the set. I think I broke one of those and I used it on the bridge. Mm-hmm. When I was taking it apart, I broke one of the light pole support things little little brick that connects to the base of the light oh down here yeah yeah and i was like i broke one of those yeah and i was being trying to be really careful but those that set in particular probably was exposed to heat or something or is in the sun set in the sun because it's more brittle yeah than typical parts from that era right <clears throat> that, that's yeah. If you had it stuff on display and it's getting a lot of light, maybe that's going to cause it to become brittle. I don't know. But, yeah, yeah, UV's hard on it. Heat's hard on it. Yeah, maybe so it I took a, and I broke some of the it. rails. I broke a, a gray rail and I broke the sleepers. I broke two of the sleepers. Wow. And I posted a picture of some of those broken parts on Instagram. And somebody commented that, well, those are 40 years old. Not like, yeah, but one day your Lego pieces will be forty years old. Maybe you won't care, but is all Lego going to do this? <laughs> uh, you know, I I, I got to say, I have fifty, sixty year old Legos that are Legos. Did I just say Legos? Did I pluralize the it's Legos, 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 Legos. All right, the Stay land rover somewhere just went. But I've never I mean, seen have, a new, I've never seen a news story where the person did not say Legos, Legos. ever. Yeah, it happens all the time. Um, but yeah, I've got plenty of it that is that is in just great shape, and there's no problem with it. But it there, yeah, if it's exposed to heat or light, it's going to definitely degrade. But I can go in there and I can break any of those like Samsonite, the old Samsonite bricks. If you torque on them real hard, especially with a brick breaker, one of these things, separator, whatever. Yeah, on old bricks. Oh, oh you, 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 you'll blow them up if you ain't careful. Well, that's the a, problem I had taking yeah. that set apart because those, like, the um, the part that holds the um, the lamp. Yeah, that little. Thing, it, there's no lip on it, so right. you can't, it's hard to wedge it. Yeah. Well, and that's something, too, that Lego has actually, does that just putting that lip in, like, the tiles. You know, they're, they've done things that make this not near as stressful right. in some of the newer parts as where, you know, the older, well, uh, obviously all bricks don't have the, the lip or anything like that, but they've done things to help that. The, the 50-year-old bricks are not as uh, well engineered. You know, they were engineered 50 years ago. Just those little braces inside, that are, you know. So uh, what can we help. do to pre- preserve our Lego where it lasts mm. longer? I know. Let's put them in a in a sealed glass or sealed plastic let's, container and have them graded. Yeah. <laughs> let's just put a box inside of a box. Yeah. <laughs> we already do that. We're covered. <laughs> That's why Lego has a vault. They just put them and everybody can just look at the box and be like, ooh, look at this old box. Speaking so, of the vault, did you talk that guy down on those rolling shelves yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I didn't talk to him yet. Heather got real <laughs> nervous because I was already in there measuring the utility room across the really? <laughs> Joey. Joe. <laughs> yeah, they they were those. about a fourth of the price of new ones. Oh, oh yeah. if, for those of you who don't know this since we're talking about stuff we haven't talked to the, the <laughs> viewers about. It's uh, the in the Lego vault, they have these shelves that they go together. They're like what are used in doctor's offices when or companies that have a lot of files to mm-hmm. save space. The the um, the different rows of shelves can be together, but they got a little crank arm. And this is what Lego uses in the vault to save space. And somebody was selling these. What was it on Facebook? On Facebook Marketplace. Marketplace. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whose picture this is. I'm going to show it. I just quickly uh, did a quick search. But uh, why is it right there? Yeah. It's not a very good picture, but that's. Let's see if I can yeah. zoom in a little better. Oh, wait, those actually have. Le- is that the Lego? That's vault? from the vault. That was oh, the easiest okay. place where we find a picture okay. of them, is the vault. Yeah. But yeah, these. Yeah roll back and forth there's the crank and they're on a track yeah does that count as a train set 
Hey. Hey there. Hey there. But, yeah, I mean, uh, they had them for sale for half a for sale for just a few thousand dollars, wasn't it? Yeah. $2,500 for yeah. uh, several rows. I think and if you go look at the, rows. I mean, those things are easily five figures. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it looked to me that the thing there is the, the Lego vault ones are actually in the floor. So they either got like the removable tile type floor or mm -hmm. something. I, I think these would have had to been. Well, in my in my basement, they would have had to been surface mounted, so you would have had something to trip. Because you have concrete. Floor. Yes. Yeah. 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 We got that new amazing concrete stuff for our basement. But it just it's like I haven't seen any other private no. collector use those, and I think that would be the coolest thing. It, it was running in <laughs> my head. I'm just gonna make my own vault. <laughs> I, can't, I can't afford to go to Legos. Legos. Oh, then Legos you could Legos. then you could falsify pictures. That's yep, right. <laughs> <laughs> I could start rumors. Yeah, you could put like a you could put like an eighty set in the middle of a of a bunch of two thousand sets. <laughs> so, ooh, is Lego thinking of doing something now? <laughs> yeah. Or just label the two thousand and twenty four shelf. It's like look, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, I I did not. So I did not did not get them. So Jason from Jason's Bricks and Five, if anybody hasn't checked his channel out, check his channel out. He went just recently to the Lego house and he had to talk about the vault. They 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 don't have a vault there, but they have the history where they have all the show. We saw like um um in talk, well, we in talk, yeah, Kim. Uh, she had she took pictures of that great circle table with all the trains mm -hmm. and stuff. But man, a lot of the stuff they have in there is in such great shape. The boxes that they have and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like, did they empty a vault out, or did they just have did they have more than they let on? I've always contended. I think there's yeah. two vaults. One for like, I think there's, there's three. <laughs> then, yeah. <laughs> well, there's one that we always see in the YouTube videos. Yeah. But I know yeah. that there's been a couple. I think even Jamie said, Jamie Berard from Lego Masters has even said that there's one the designers have access to mm -hmm. that they don't seem to let the public into. And then, yeah, who knows what else is going yeah, on? Yeah, I, I got to imagine that the one that they show on the tour where you can kind of touch the sets and yeah. touch the boxes and everything, that I, I would think they have an archive somewhere where there's a lot of stuff in. Well, that yeah, because there's a video of them doing the house and then when they built the Lego house and they got which one is it? Kale, whoever the one that's the, the Lego family member that's alive now, he's sitting there playing with the space sets. And then there's our archivist. I, I, I don't have a better name for him, but the person who is actually trying to set this stuff up and they're just like. You know, <laughs> give me that back. You know, he they, they got white gloves on and stuff, and here he yeah. is. He's just picking it up. It's like, oh, it's swooshable. You know, he's and he's in there. Like, what do you do? He's the owner of the company. You, you know, yeah. but so I have a well, feeling. Think about our own collections. Like, you you buy something, and let's say you're one of those people that you like to keep a sealed copy for some strange reason. Yeah, I don't know. That's yeah. But yeah. if you just, if you're always handling it, it's not going to be mint condition. No, no. Nope. Uh, so all this stuff, I mean, the only way a set would be stay in mint condition. Nobody ever touches, touches it. it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then, you know, I broke my cardinal rules of if it's not out to be seen, then what's the point? You know, yeah. more along the line, I've gotten into that boxes and boxes thing. But I, I'm wanting to get away from that because, I mean, right. besides Earl teasing me all the time, <laughs> I, I, I look at these cardboard boxes and I was like, if I'm just going to have a bunch of sets, I just, I'd rather sit, be able just to see the Lego boxes instead of the cardboard box that the box is inside. That has yeah. always... Yeah. Well, the thing is, if if you had the space where you could put the shelves up, like you've got a couple shelves like that, Jabba, yeah. where you have the boxes turned sideways, where they're yeah. all like butt out. I mean, that mm -hmm. would that to me is, you know, just a whole bunch of them in a row, and then maybe you got 
one good one facing you and then a whole bunch more in a row. Right. And, and so, you know, I had made a couple of rows in, in my head. I thought it would hold more than what it holds. Right. Right. And I realized man, I could just fill up my whole basement with just shelves <clears throat> with boxed sets. And <laughs> okay. I'm going to reach up and grab something. Okay. And because this is the problem with, Having stuff sitting out like you're talking about. Hang on, let's see. Okay. Okay. I grab for those of you at stuff. home. Is that my Joey belly is, that you for saw? those of you at home, Joey was reaching above his, his shelf. <laughs> for the, for the ones <laughs> not watching. So yeah, we have a Fabulan record. Oh, you did your hand that's not how you handle a record. It is when you don't have a record player. There you go. <laughs> well, I don't get it. Is it's a forty-five with a little hole in it. Come on now. Oh, oh have you ever? Have you ever heard the? Have Have you ever heard what's on there? Wait, that's how they're supposed to be. What's supposed to be the little hole? Otherwise, you got to put the little plastic adapter in the yeah, the adapter in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had one of those things where you stack the forty-fives and they yeah. slid down the thing. No, I have not heard what's on here. What is on here? Um, nightmare um. music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, not this green. A brick separator. A brick separator. But this. <gasps> that is one of the most. <laughs> Sought after it's, it's light. The light has faded it. Yes. There are other Lego boxes that are sitting up there. The closer uh, to the lights, the no, more they they're on the same plane. They didn't fade. That haven't. I this cardboard is not as good. Oh, because I got right? the same set. I need to go look at mine. Yeah. Well, I have another one of these. I just don't know where it's at. It's in a box in a box yeah. somewhere. And I pulled it out the other the uh uh uh. Well, it was a little while ago. It was actually over a year ago because I actually came across three of these in a deal, and somebody one of our one of our buddies, Mr. Brick Smith, has always coveted one of these. Well, I gifted it one of him. Okay. But the other day when I got the, it's been six months ago, when I got, they all came at the same time. They were all color, same color, but they are no longer the same color. Uh -huh. This cardboard has faded big time. And, you know, I still don't have one of these out to play with. Oh, <laughs> So that, that was one of those uh, Lego shop at home clearance items. It one yeah, time. somebody looks, probably has a ton of them somewhere. It so, looks like a combination square. <laughs> the the fading I've had some <laughs> box sets fade. I've had white uh, clocks like the stormtrooper clock. It's almost mm. turned brown. Really, when it's wow. still in the box because you know they're not. It's not. It's like open. So, okay, back when Kenner made the first 10 card Star Star Wars, the first ones, Luke and Leia yeah. from the very first movie, they all they they went nuts. They just they ate themselves because the first couple runs of those, the cardboard that they were on was not acid free. Oh, right? And they, it was like one it, of the first time. Through. Well, what was happening was, is the cardboard would gas off with the vinyl that the picture, the uh, the little uh, action figures were made out of, and the combination was just like horrible. So they they uh, degraded the yellow. They they got really nasty. Now apparently Kenner figured this out pretty quick, and changed either the cardboard or something. They did something different. Maybe they inked them or maybe they sealed them. I don't know. I, I don't know what they did. But, yeah, they getting something from that very first run is almost impossible mm -hmm. to have because the in, if it's still in the box, it, they're, they're just torn, totally brown and, and nasty. So most items, especially toys, I guess, especially for many decades, they were never intended to stay in the college. Like, yeah. <laughs> and... and, and, and so I think now I think there are companies that make stuff where the packaging is part of I even got slot cars that they make the, the package can be a display piece for the slot car. Right. But 
I mean, Kenner probably wasn't thinking people were going to keep these action figures in the package. Yeah, but uh, apparently this was a bad enough problem just you couldn't even get them off of Kmart's store. Oh, before it even sold? It it was that quick. Oh, it was a chemical reaction. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Something bad was happening in the first few runs. But you you know that you've we've we've all seen the toys that made us those. They don't ever really address that. I don't think in that. Mm -mm, They don't. They talk about how rushed that was. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, they were they're probably trying to get it as cheap. It it was so rushed that they sold a a promissory note for Christmas. For (laughs) Yeah. For the Boba Fett. Yeah. Yeah. Like, buy this, please. We promise you, you can redeem it. (laughs) Yep. Yep. That's it was pretty crazy. But that's where Lucas made all his money was the the toys and stuff. The yeah. ingenious, yeah, ingenious marketing plan he had. Well, speaking of ingenious marketing plans and Lucas and stuff, uh, new Indiana Jones and new Indiana Jones sets. I like okay. a couple of them. Of course, I like the one with the the what is it? What do you call it? The um, the scene with the big. The big cement the, ball. The hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Do we have pictures of them yet? Yes, they're out there. Are they? Are I mean, they, are they? Are they official? Like, are they on Lego website? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't know why they would, they canceled that one though. They canceled the biggest. Did one. they cancel it? Yeah. Uh, did, they, did they? Did they? I don't, yeah. I don't know. I guess. I guess that's a good question. This is. This is the. This well, it's on brick set. What's this all about? Hang on a second. Let me screenshot or not screenshot, but screen share. StreamYard changed the way you screen share. Now I have to click an extra button to get there. So that's oh, the one they said they. This, this is kind of odd. Been, they say there this set has been canceled. Yeah. yeah. But why does anybody? Why do you go why? through all that trouble? And then it's canceled. Are they are they really saying it's canceled? Yeah, they put out a they put out a press release. They're saying that it's that they they didn't say it was specifically canceled. They were they, it was shown at the Nuremberg Toy Fair. So there was actually prototypes of it <sighs> at the Nuremberg Toy Fair, and it was uh, the seven seven. This is the original version of it. Um, what is this? Seven seven. That's seven one nine nine. There. Yeah, that was yeah. the original version. So this was this was going to be the updated, but seven seven zero one four, and it was like seven seven zero one one two three fourteen whatever. It it's now missing out of that chain of parts or sets. So yeah. I'm kind of surprised that Hugh has it on here with, especially with that ugly picture. I don't know. Oh, that's. The quality of the picture is not your internet. No, <laughs> no, it isn't. Thank you. <laughs> it's, that's the uh, degraded, uh, yeah, the, re- leak. That's picture. the best image they got. Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting here saying, focus, focus. I wonder yeah. how they cancel it. I wonder if it if they cancel it because it, the prototype they have to redo something. No I idea. Guess. No idea. Hmm. I mean, there's been more than a few now sets that have either shown up at toy fairs Mm -hmm. or actually were ready to be sold and then been canceled or some that they just had the preliminary images and then never made. Right. I just just kind of don't understand it. The Osprey was one. Yeah. That was one that made it into some stores. Yeah. It was so late in production. And that's what some are saying about this, that this was, this was canceled at such a late date that they think there was probably production of it. That means there's probably they've probably already recycled a bunch of them. Probably. And probably some unscrupulous or scrupulous, depending on how you view it, <laughs> employees have t- taken huh. some. They may have been shipped out to the land already. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wouldn't be funny. Oh, that would be hilarious. If they sent them to the land and then said, you cannot show these. <laughs> mm, might be my last day in the land. Cool. I'm not in the land. <laughs> Don't want to be. So I got something coming up um, in a f- probably a few weeks. Okay. Okay. I bought, I bought something. Oh, <laughs> no. I wonder what it could be. 
I wonder what it could be. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! <laughs> so did you so, buy it from? Did you buy it from overseas or did you buy it from? Oh yeah, I mean you can only buy it from people who are close overseas. to Denmark. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean it's people in Germany, Denmark, and Netherlands. That's about the only people that are going to have it. So did you did you, uh, did you get it off Bricklane or? or are you going to say, or we're we just going to leave? Yes, I got off Bricklink. Okay. Yeah, because they would. I would put. I would go through like four or five different sellers, put them in my cart, and see what the shipping would be. Right. And then almost every time, I'd go back the next day, and those items would be sold out. Wow. So it is well, in demand. The thing is, is it look? It's something you want. And yeah, that's yeah. the only and the way you're going to get it. So it, yeah, if, if you're like, willing, you know, to, if you're willing to pay for it, it's what you want. Then it's no big deal. And, right. And judging by the others, it, it, it might save thirty dollars maybe a year from now yeah. if the the demand wanes a little bit and more of them are out there. But I'm go ahead and get it. I'm glad you're getting it. Yeah. The thing that I tell you, the videos I love. <laughs> And this is the pirate won't be a video like this, but the videos I love are when you buy, when you do a, a set review, a quick set review, and it's like I probably spent too much. It's not <laughs> worth it. You're like you're so excited to get it, and you're so disappointed when you're done with it. <laughs> I spent my money. I waste my money, so you don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I can because by the time this comes out, everybody's gonna know. But I got one too. Have you already got it? No. You know, you ordered one too. N no. But Jason's well, yeah. birthday five. Well, I didn't know. He was over there and he picked up three. Alex okay. got one, which is a land member, so he didn't get one. So Alex mm -hmm. got one. He's keeping one and he asked me if I wanted to buy the third one. And I just found out today I I I I told him, yeah, I buy it. He yeah, he said, I don't, you know, I'll, I'll buy it, I'll, I'll sell it to you, but I don't, you know, I don't want you reselling it or whatever. I appreciate it if you did. I said, no, 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 I, I'm going to get it. I want to get it for myself. <clears throat> um, but uh, he works for the Silicon Valley Bank or did. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. And he found out while he was over. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, wow. He seems to be okay with everything. Yeah. So he hasn't like, Broke down, but well, if his if his life holds together and everything's fine, we need to get him on the podcast too. He seems like a pretty nice guy. So, but yeah, I'm glad you got one because I was like, man, how am I going to do this video? <laughs> I'm no, going to have Brickzar never... ranting on my channel <laughs> when I get views. In. All, right. All right, I'm never. I'm always happy for people who get something they want to get, like if. It, it, a friend buys it for them right. or they buy it themselves. I just, the thing, my whole thing with this pirate is that if it's going to be exclusive, make it exclusive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, don't promote it by giving it to people. Right. And then telling the people that are, you're promoting it to that. Now you got to fly to Denmark to get it. Right. Whereas the people that are promoting it didn't have to fly to Denmark to get it. That's my whole problem with that thing. And I think, yes, and I agree. Because I've bought the others, like they've they've done it one other time where they sent it out that I know of. They, um, there was another one they sent, but then the, the next two they didn't. didn't the the several, maybe it was a duck? I think it was a duck. Yeah. I got a duck too. Yeah, I got a duck too. The one set that I think they've always, at least it's to me, I, maybe you tell me if I'm wrong, but it seems like it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of flown under the radar. <laughs> that it's the, the, the Sierra airport, airport set yeah. from the Billund Airport. And there's actually two different versions of it now. I think. I I think you might. I think right they here. updated it, but. Yeah. But yeah. the only way you can get that is to. And I think it's it's at the store, the Lego store. There's a little Lego store in the airport, in the airport. that Lego built. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's on the one side of security. So I'm not sure if it's coming in or going out or if you can get I think to you it. can only get two there with it as well. 
to only buy two at a time. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, I will never buy that set on the secondary market because to me, it's like, like a badge of honor. It's like, yeah. I, I yeah. Did you want to be able to get it the right way. Yeah. Right. And saying that, yeah. That, and they haven't, as far as I know, they haven't like sent that to people. No, to, I don't think it's something the that they really advertise. It's kind of like the Lego stores used to have, you know, a lot of times it was just keychains or something, yeah. but it was like the New York store was a perfect example. There was that the I Love New York uh, Statue yeah. of Liberty. That was the only way you could use to get it. There was an apple that you could only get from that little store. It was a little poly bag build, which is. Similar. And I think they, I, I'd be happy if they do more stuff like that. Where, but this there's, thing, there's, <laughs> the other thing about this is like, you know, when they made the other buildable minifigure thing yeah the um uh, harry potter yes yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And i'm like okay are you gonna do this for other types of, yeah no you're not i guess and then you're gonna make another one that oh okay this is like one of the most important themes in the history of lego and might not be everybody's favorite but the pirates is the theme that introduced us to something besides a standard minifigure grin and Captain Redbeard was in that first pirate ship. Yeah. Uh, it's like, that's a cool minifigure. Why are you only <laughs> making it available at one place? Are they going to, are they, do they have plans? I'd love yeah. to know. Do they have plans to make more of these readily available? Like maybe a, a spaceman minifigure. Right. <laughs> There's so many things they could do that people would. Bye. Bye. Uh, yeah. They it, it it's okay. There's been several other house exclusives, but they're kind of geared towards the house. This doesn't this, feel like it fits the house. Right. It the duck fits it. The 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 molding machine. Yes. The Dagmy Coleman. Wait a minute, that's the wrong one. Not right. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that is it nine to five or uh yeah. war games and yeah. war problems or what? what are we talking about here? <laughs> Do you want to play global thermal nuclear war? People don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the, yeah, you're talking about the designer set, the yeah. the ladies. Yeah. yeah, the design. Yeah, all those things feel more like, and they're and they're going to be things that. Not every Lego collector is going to want to pick up. the diehard Lego collector. Will, yeah, but no, but most Lego fans don't not. want a molding machine, right? Even though that's where the Lego comes from, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not going to be something that they're just going to immediately go. The duck, if you didn't know the wooden stuff existed, it it's not been till real recent, last what maybe five well, they've years. They've been putting ducks in everything lately. Yeah, everything <laughs> has got a duck, but it didn't. They didn't used to do that. So a lot of, but this pirate, like you said. It's the change in the minifigure phase. There's there's so much to that. Why is that not available everywhere? I don't get it. I'm with you. It, it seems that, to me like a slap a slap in the face to a lot many, of people. How many how many minifigs that buildable minifigs that size would people buy? They could start a whole collection of those. It could be a whole series. And, oh, and I, of course, I wouldn't want them to flood the market no, it, with them. Like but one it, a like, year. Every yeah, year do it like the one. collectible minifigures where you got one or two. Every so often, but not don't flood us with ten of them at once, <laughs> right? Because then yeah. it'll special. It'll it'll die out like brickheads. You know, brickheads they flooded the market with brickheads, and it kind of they got more of a trickle now, which I think is a better thing yeah. for it. And I think it'd be the same with this. Yeah, just yeah, have one, maybe even one a year, like a modular. Yeah. 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 You know, don't you don't get crazy with it. I blame the them guy. I don't blame. I mean, I do blame them, but it's those people that were doing the, and they're still doing them. The 3D printed scale minifigures yeah. that were kind of this size. I think that's. I think there was enough traction with that, at least interest that I think maybe Lego, or it was, or you building a, a six by six tipper tipper truck. So. <laughs> <laughs> you need many figures to go with it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you do seem to influence them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, has Ship Station gone crazy for you yet, or is it just me? What's going on with your well, Ship Station? Okay, so I didn't put it in there. I do have orders from the middle of January that just won't go away, even though I've already shipped them. 
Well, it's, right. it's, it's, it's literally, we're filming this on March 22nd. The last yeah. one was January 22nd. So now it's been two months and there was like a glitch for about a week or two. And all those orders that have already been shipped are still showing on my page and I can't get rid of them. See, okay. Somebody else asked me, somebody else, you know what? I'm going to mess this up. There was two, we had two questions and comments that I miss putting in the show notes. Okay. People, at any rate, We'll get to that here in a minute. We probably need to do show notes because I think there's a lot. Um, uh, 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 uh. So, yeah, somebody asked me, how do you get those? I think it was Barnes Bricks. I think it was he, he asked me about how do I get rid of those. But I never see those because I come out of PayPal and I hit the ship button in PayPal and it mm -hmm. just takes me right to the label. So I never see yeah, that. Well, I found So I eliminated a step because you can create a shortcut to ship station. Mm -hmm. And then you don't go to PayPal. <laughs> go, you go right to ship stage. You know how PayPal then, opens it up, and then you can yeah. just click on orders and. But and then you have to find your your label in ship station, and that now you're you saying you'll. Mine's always the one on the top. It's whatever yeah. order just came in. But I've got like almost everything I've ever shipped is in there still. Oh. Mine never go away. You're okay, saying, you so got stuff from January. I got oh. tons of crap. Now, no, maybe, as soon as I ship them, it's it's gone. I had to go look at like the history yeah. or something. But well, I wonder if it's because I don't go to that page. I wonder if it's because I come from PayPal. So I maybe would, when it comes from PayPal, it's like just creating a whole new label to ShipStation. They must. They did some update. Yeah. But so here's what it, went wrong with me. Okay. I shipped a label. Monday, I think. Um, and it, you know, it was early in the morning. I was getting up, go to work. I picked the order real quick. I printed the label and set it on a step. So when I'm going up the steps, I grab it to take it on. All right. So I'd done all that. I came back to the computer. So it had been a, just, it literally had just been like a, two minutes, packed it up and put the label on it. I come back to the computer and I was going to put the tracking number in there. And I get an email notification, and it's no big deal. And I click over to see the email notification, just see what a the ship station refund. I'm, what? Ship station refund. Ship station, three of them just immediately in my email. I'm like, what's going on? So I go to PayPal and I look at it, and it shows they refunded me um, $4 and a penny. And then they refunded me $4.80 one cents which is the exact amount that i had just shipped that was the shipping for the that package and then they then they refunded me eight dollars and 82 cents the the, the uh, total of those two so it was they refunded me sixteen dollars and seventeen dollars and there hasn't been any movement on it <laughs> and I well, got concerned that that label I just printed wasn't it, going to ship. It's going to say postage due, return to sender, postage due. Well, it would be bad if they got a, a, a label that w the d postage due was more than is more than what the postage was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, eight dollars to ship. Six, you're you're yeah. thirty two. <laughs> <laughs> so I went back to I went back to USPS to print. Uh -huh. And printed a new postage. I just, I Wait, bought another. But you would have had a tracking number with it. I did. I did. And so I, you could have taken that to you, you, the post office, and asked them about it. And it, I, yes, if I was worried about, I have the money. So, <laughs> so the, the problem is, I took money out account. of your account. They they credited you back. <laughs> that's <laughs> you're right you're right you're right no it's in my paypal account you're some of those pennies you're right well, the other day we were talking about the pennies there were credits in my ship station i have the money in my paypal account i looked in my paypal yeah, account. so they didn't and they you didn't it. And this isn't a voided like you didn't accidentally no, hit void no 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 and even if that was the case why is the 401 there and then why did they double or add it all together and, and refund me the $8 on top of the $8 they already refunded me? They refunded me for yeah, the label, a, some four, $4.01. And I'm you sure it's for this label? No, I'm not sure anything. Have you done a voided label in the past? Um, Not in any... not Like in the last like, three weeks? No. It would have been okay. six months ago, maybe. It usually takes... A few weeks, like if you do void a label, they they're slow about. Well, they're probably waiting to make sure you didn't ship it. Right, 
That's they usually wait at least three weeks to make sure you're just not gaming this, trying to game the system. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, you sp- <laughs> right. I, so I don't know. I I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A, I've never heard of that type. It, of it made me nervous. It made yeah. me nervous. Um. So ship so, station, please. When did, the, when did you say this happened? Monday. So what is it? The twenty second. Yeah, so a couple of days ago, time yeah. we're filming this. So yeah, just yeah, make sure the person gets a package and doesn't owe any money. Yeah. <laughs> you see the postman knocking on his door. Would you like this package? You you owe me thirty two dollars. Yeah, for yeah for like a twenty dollar order, you need thirty two dollars in shipping. So, but you know, Ship Station did the one thing that I thought was super cool when we first went to Ship Station. I screwed up. We talked about it on the podcast. I screwed up, and I apparently reprinted a label, stuck it on the second package, shipped it out, and then I got a bill from Ship Station, and they're like, "Dude, what are you doing?" I'm like, "Oh, duh." But this is like, why quit giving me money back? You're making me nervous. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't, the whole penny thing where it's like you have a penny credit all of a sudden, it's like it never happened with, when it was just PayPal. Right. <laughs> I had a, so, so I invoice people because I still can't figure the weights thing out that you keep trying to teach me. <laughs> So I sit, I sent you know, I'm going through my orders and I had this order that's over a week old that they hadn't paid for yet. And I know I had invoiced them, whatever. So I usually, by about the third day, I invoice them a second time and then I wait right. by, cause I'm not, you know, I'm not so antsy that, you know, if you don't pay me, I'm going to cancel your order. So it's been about a week. I, I sent it, sent them another invoice, which was the second one. I don't think it was the third one. It may have been the third one, but it's, it, so they paid they paid the invoice right then, right? This was last right. night. As soon as they paid the invoice, they sent me a message and said, This order has been paid for. It needs to be shipped ASAP. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm like, what? 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 <laughs> you wouldn't even pay them. I wouldn't say <laughs> Yes, it does not I believe it. I believe people will do stuff like that. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else on the Show notes. Yeah, we're talking uh, about I did movie. see something. Uh, let's see. The sealed box challenge for the Disney CMFs. Yeah, I didn't know how we many, wanted to do. Is how many? Know. When do those? Cut, are they out already? I I look for Not them. Yeah, no, there oh. you could see images of them. But I still need I to get another know. one of the series twenty four. Just on Indomaro. Yeah, because I, I mean, I don't have the first series. I don't think I'm okay. Gonna get well, we can wait for. I, I know it's something that I'm gonna get, and I didn't. I didn't know. I, it's always it's just a question. <laughs> yeah, we should have did the last one. Is the one we should have did. Should have, yeah, we should have. Well, we want to do the note or the. Uh, yeah, let me find them there. Because there's yeah. a couple comments that people actually ask some questions. I'll tell you what, I'm 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 really enjoying that we're getting a lot of comments. Yes. You know, this is going to be a point where we can't read them all. Answer all, all of them. No, like we're going to have video. to start coiling. We're going to have to start picking some at some point. <laughs> or we do. We take a play a, a page out of your playbook and. If you ask a question, I ask. You know, he's playing uh, video. Yeah, well, that's how I gotta find the video. Yeah. Uh, okay. So let's see. We have we have a bunch. So I'm just gonna. I'll probably just randomly skip some. So if I skip your comment, I apologize. But we have a lot. Of, we we probably have an hour's worth of comments. Yeah, I was gonna say it, we're gonna have to start wow. being selective. Is that because uh, of Brian? He, well, <laughs> and I started answering some of them. There's one in there. If you see comments from me, those are probably ones that I okay. kind of had hit highlighted. But uh, so our Aaron, uh, Ar- Aaron, I think it's Aaron. Interesting conversation about podcasts or streams, really. Yes. And how to interact one. with your audience. One thing I personally enjoy about this show is the pace, personality knowledge and insights about the brand from the a fool's point of view <laughs> yep that's uh it's because we're not we're not like faking anything we're just having a conversation conversation and, 
Yep. I, I saw a very interesting video that in MNR Productions, and he was talking about he he has a question series that he does every week, and he's talking about people that have been collecting a long time getting criticism from people who just started collecting. Oh, it was nice. a, he actually quoted some guy talking about a, a people complaining about you. You've been following the sports team forever. And then you make complaints about the sports team. And then the new fans are like, well, if you don't like them, just go, go look, do something else. Right. It's like, well, we complain because we like it. I right. know. We want yeah. to be better. That's what I, I, you know, right now, Southeastern baseball is killing me. They can't hit. They can't hit. They play small ball. And I tell my wife, I said, you can't play small ball and win when you're only hitting, getting four or five hits a game. It don't work tonight. It's called got, no ball. <laughs> yeah, tonight, tonight they they got a two hit shutout. Oh. Mm. I mean, what are you mm. gonna do? Yeah. But you know what? I still go to the games, and she gets mad at me because I sit in stands and I'm fussing. I'm like, well, that's because <laughs> yeah, that's I what, care. Yeah. Why do you go? <laughs> yeah. Like, why did the Saints and Falcons fans go to the games for so long when the teams were so bad? bad. <laughs> Our team. Uh, he also says, I'd like to thank the listeners and viewers for their responses to my train layout question. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Jason's Bricks. Thanks for the shout out about my brick trains. Well, we're trying to get there, buddy. <laughs> we, just, we just mentioned you again. Yeah, it was, it was a great. It's trip. like a never-ending shout-out. <laughs> it was a great trip, and hopefully, some of my videos about the Lego house and interesting or interesting. Yes, I did get the airport set, and we'll have to do a video about it soon. Yeah. So, Jason, that's the one who does the. Uh, he does the question and answer with Alex, right? Yes, uh, him and uh, Alex are friends. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Brick train fan. So now we have we have Mayo for commenting on Jabo, <laughs> and now we have a Brick train fan. Yep. <laughs> is he a Brick train fan, or is he a train, or is he a fan of Brick trains? <laughs> I I yeah I don't. <laughs> He's a brick train fan because he does some brick train stuff too. Yeah. Another excellent podcast. I'll keep it short. Comments on build podcasts are spot on. I really enjoy your informal your informal conversations. It's a great format. Did I miss it? Too lazy to rewind. Did you guys have a vault set this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I list it, watch this primary as I drive and I do it in sections. Keep up the great work. Enjoy all three of you very much. Uh, thank you. Oh, here's a very interesting comment. Uh oh. This is from Alex. <laughs> Great show, guys. And you're right about the land sets. No way I would buy any of them. And then uh mm. and then Jabo said he's one of the few that keeps it honest, which have you seen his last one, his latest one? Yeah. Did you watch it? <laughs> he said the last one, the next <laughs> one might be my this last one. You might be my last one. And let me tell you. He was brutally honest. He was. But, but he wasn't like. He didn't rip Lego apart. He just. No. Was he was, about yeah, he didn't say they were stupid. Right. Right. And, 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 and I, th I think that is a very valuable thing to Lego, whether they believe it is or not. I mean, I'm sure they want everything to be sunshine and rainbows with all this stuff. But yeah, he, ke he kept it real. He, ke yeah, he did. Here's something interesting, though. Did you look. Hugh Brickset did the same uh, did a review for the same set, right? So obviously they don't do videos. It's it's all it's, and it's pages. I don't know how I they I don't know how they do that. No, I can't. I don't, I, <laughs> I don't either. His review goes point by point through the set. It's glowing. It's typical land fodder, if you know. I call it. It's just you know. Do they ever complain about anything on Brickset? He did. If you go to the last paragraph, his his par his last paragraph, uh, well, it's like his last paragraph before his little rap paragraph. It sounds very similar, not the same points, but it sounds very similar to Alex. Here's the things I don't like. That's expensive. It's this. It's that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, it was well, interesting. You know, the thing about Alex is he mentioned that you could you build the main model. And you can, if you want to build build it like the box shows, you, it's basically like the other model where you put all the accessories and everything on it. Right. And he doesn't want that, but right. yet he's got to pay for that, or right. you yeah. would have to pay. That's for That's the way I felt about the guitar, the the Fender right. guitar. Yeah. 
Because it had what was it different faces? Yeah, you could change the color. Yeah. Okay. Which is a cool thing, but I got a ton of extra parts. <laughs> And to people who want to keep the box and the set and everything together, that's a problem, right? And yeah. or it raises the price. Why? What? How much harder would it have been for Lego to make three Fender guitars in black, red, and blue? Like they did with the dinosaur, right? Mm -hmm. Versus putting all the parts. I think I prefer the dinosaur method versus the alternate build with extra parts, yeah. like if it, a two-in-one set or three-in-one set. I wouldn't have thought, cause especially if all the parts are used in one of the builds. Right, right. right. But when no possible build uses all the parts, then I'm like, Pfft. yeah. You know, a, well, even the two, the three in one builds, you don't really get a lot of extra parts. There will always be two of the, one or two of the builds be. won't use all of the parts. Sometimes they won't. It, yeah, it, yeah. it actually would be neat if they did use all the parts in all three of the builds. <laughs> right. Yeah, but you know, know we do like uh, the mysterious extra part left over in some of the vintage sets that had alternate builds. You had this one by four brick left over, and you're like, "Where did I miss it?" And it's like, right. "It's for the alternate build, okay. your castle, the yellow castle." Yes, yes, <laughs> yep. Hmm. Uh, Gibson Star Wars collector, great show. I stuck to really just collecting Star Wars, but the last couple of years, for some reason, I have trains. Gift with purchase, 60s, vintage, RC cars, and even Dacta. Thanks again, guys. <laughs> well, some of that stuff I would say is impulse, but then when you go to uh, vintage and Dacta, you yeah. have to go looking for that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, you hunt That's that a dangerous <laughs> rabbit hole. Look at the battery powered bricks. Yeah. yeah. Poor Brian. <laughs> yeah. yeah he, his rabbit hole is so far that he goes searching on Amazon for other brands so he can test them against against lego yeah <laughs> uh chris cummings like lego content is a strange thing i can understand how people want to protect their mock and be able to sell instructions but i'm too lazy to make those and if i can figure something out myself so i would like to make detailed videos about some of my projects i still hear about people asking other a falls how do you build such things i take forever to finish a mock uh, but I would hate to buy USCS and spend 12 hours building it. So it sounds like basically he likes to build his own mocks and he wants to do videos on them, but he doesn't want to build do instructions. I mean, that's right. understandable. Yeah, yeah, I think the, that was his the problem that. is, is that unless you're a big channel, you're, you could have a great mock and you won't get a lot of views. You won't get a lot of visitation to your channel to see it. Right. Yeah. But you got to have a thumbnail that's got a vertical line in it like this. <laughs> and something over here and something over there. And then, you, then you'll get a lot of views. And it's got to be yellow and blue. <laughs> that's well, because of Ukraine. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> uh, is that what it is? is people make thumbnails it, like the Ukraine it, flag and then it's like they get more views. Well, I know, but I mean, it, I don't know if it get more views or not. But it, isn't that what's going on? Is it's just? I thought red it. was the hot color. It's yellow and, and blue. I think are the well, two. yellow and blue. I maybe in a red arrow somewhere. A red in there. arrow. Well, I got a yellow arrow. <laughs> I, I, I literally have had this in my mind that to go back and go to old crappy videos and put those bright colored thumbnails. It probably divide, and it, 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 see if it made them change, even though the video is still just as crappy. <laughs> it's all about whether or not YouTube's gonna gonna recommend it, right? My channel took this huge boom for uh, you know several months, and it was all because of episode sixty three of the podcast, which may have been a podcast test. Maybe it was doing. It could have been, yeah. but now that that has stopped and everything's kind of come back, my channel is back to being flat, which is fine. I'm happy with that. It's just. But it has leveled off. We suck again. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like like uh, uh, one major league. The guy. Yeah. Like, oh no, we suck again. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, thing, the thing about the yellow and blue, yellow and blue is one of those colors that I we we learned this when we were doing a lot of PowerPoints and stuff. But the contrast between yellow and blue, your eye really picks it up easy. 
you could do the yellow on top of blue and it stands out your brain, your eyes, whatever, just really. So I'm sure that's but if why. If you put yellow on top of blue, that makes green. <laughs> Only if you turn the transparency <laughs> down. <laughs> but it, green through. Yeah. Uh, Andreas, <laughs> Andreas Carlson got my set from the last BrickLink designer program about a week ago. They are still shipping yeah. out. I didn't get any from that wave. I didn't get any of them. <laughs> Already doubled in price. It seems like they need to tweak the voting What's system. That? There's two it's yellow space man. Oh, oh, yellow and blue. <laughs> yellow and blue. <laughs> hey, I got a thumbnail <laughs> coming. We oh, already uh, lost it. Uh, Jabo Hosco, I know battery powered bricks and jo Joseph would appreciate this. Remember for Bricks Off four, four and a half train set review nine years ago, responding to a comment by Mad Koi Fish, talking about the difference in context on rechargeable C batteries versus alkaline C batteries. I saw him in the comments on Twitch yesterday. Thought I'd let you know. Oh, Happy really? memories. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, so is, is he challenging Brian to to? Is he challenging Brian on the difference in rechargeable C batteries versus alkaline C batteries? Brian did say something about C batteries not the rechargeables not being the same size, size yeah. as alkaline batteries mm. in one of his videos I watch. But see, this is the yellow. We got yellow and blue. There you go. There you yellow go. And blue space train. There oh wait, go. what time was it? One twenty-one. I got to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Cummings, the podcast is almost 10 years old in dog years. Oh, I wow. Brick, <laughs> I watch Brick Science sort 100 pounds of Lego. I also watched that video, and I will say that I got a little bit jealous. Use Lego as like stray animals. Now I have a house full of, of it, so to speak. I heard the podcasts were for a headset that allowed people to listen while running. That's the small size download for a device used by people who maybe never had a cassette player, never owned any Apple products until the pandemic. Those Jang chill builds are really weird. So the viewers or listeners can hear the Lego crunch. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I watched Brick Science. Did, did he edit out all the sound? I mean, oh, no, he's talking about, uh, Jang chill builds. I think it's the what I was talking about, where he does a live build. A lot of people do. With, with no talking? Yeah, and he, he might every once in a while. I mean, I've never watched him, but, yeah, you know, you got some people like, like Vic and Bricks who does it, and he looks at the comments and does a lot of, lot of interaction with the comments, so his building is really slow. And uh, then you got other people who never look at the comments. They just build. Build. And nobody yeah, gets you know, mad at them. Yeah. It's, it's it's like I watched one where somebody was sorting, and I couldn't watch the video because it was so loud. The no um hmm. the noise. Yeah, I don't think that was no brick science dumped them all out on the table, and then he pulled all the big parts out, and and uh, I think the you know and he, that's he builds all kinds of models, you know, but his deal is I think he tears them apart and then he puts the pieces back away. Oh. That takes discipline. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> hmm. When YouTube is your job, you got that. You can, yeah. you you can, can do, do that. that. Yeah. I could have skipped this one because it's short, but Casey Jones says, just here to comment that Dakota did say that he does like to throw the soft Lego blocks in the that papa <laughs> in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who commented that? That was my uh, daughter. Oh, was it? Cassie. Yeah. Cassie. Cassie Jones. Casey yeah. Jones. Not Casey the, not Jones. The, not the Don't tell her that. She'll I got, think I really named her that. I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on my mind. <laughs> it's already bad enough that they think I named her after Elvira. Cassandra <laughs> Peterson. <laughs> uh, Beach Bricks. Beach Breaks and Bricks. He's, uh, yep, an Aussie up here in Vancouver, Canada. So we got an... We got an Australian and we have a Canada viewer all in one. <laughs> We're all over the place. Uh, Brick Jams, the micro machine name is John Mushita. I should have known that. Yeah. Because well, I went to school with someone whose last name was Mushita, and that's how I always remembered it. <laughs> He's 68 years old. <laughs> wow. I don't know why he doesn't make commercials anymore. Uh, Retirement. 
Yeah. <laughs> Gears, Gears and Bricks says, hey, guys, with the collection knowledge about older Lego bits, I have some interesting questions that have bothered me for a while. Any help you can offer is greatly appreciated. I bought from someone a couple years ago a bunch of Lego and found it what looks like a 50 by 50 old light gray base plate. Mm -hmm. The corners appear to be rounded or cut mm -hmm. out, of, out at a chamfer. I looked up the part on BrickLink and found out that it only appeared as a supplemental part three separate times from 64 to 69. So my question has to be, are the corners intended to be rounded yes. or is it wear and tear? Mm -mm. Um, what does supplemental actually mean? <laughs> is that part something that BrickLink has correct as to from where it came? Or do you know if it was produced for any particular set? Lastly, what do you think of extra two studs were added to make this size plate? Thank you for your insight you can offer. Don't think that it ever was in a set. The, well, the large uh, gray base plate uh, from right, the, no. the that era when they made at the 50 by 50? No, I don't it, think it was a set. No. Okay. I'm agree with you. And and don't be bidding on that 078. I've already bid on it. Okay. I won't bid on the 078. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so the the supplemental just I mean it's just like a parts pack and they had in the, in the 60s and 70s they they had a lot of parts packs especially the 60s mm -hmm. and the so the base plate would have just been sold separately and it's just like going to walmart you can buy the base plate set base plates were pretty much that's the only way you could get the big base plates was to buy it separately and we've talked about this before where the smaller ones we're pretty much 100% convinced they were cut. Yes. So he mentioned the 48 adding two studs. I think the 50 was it. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah, and everything was no else was a variation from a 50. Yeah, and I That's think that's why that we they, had the 25 by 25. I think the 50 right. by 50 became a 48 by 48 for some some something yeah. happened, yeah. Either either there's some kind of weird math. I well, think the geometry be. for the yes. third, they when they came up with the because you know they had all these different ones like 24 by 32 and they had a, all these odd size plates mm -hmm. and then now it's pretty much 16 by 16, 32 by 32, 16 by 32. That yeah, they came yeah. more standardized. There, so, yeah, is it a prime number thing? Because it all it all seems like it goes, you know, 32, 16, 8, 4. It's not prime, those aren't prime numbers. Prime those are not. <laughs> binary powers. Ah, so, yeah. Speaking yeah. of the uh, base plate, this is a little different, but the road plates. I, I saw someone posted a short about all the new city sets or putting the new road plates in, the, which is jacking up the prices on the new city sets. Hmm. And that affects hmm. me how? Well, we don't buy them anyway, <laughs> but we're always talking about the price, the, how, I how expensive they are. I, get, I, get, I don't know if it's a bad thing or a good thing with those road plates. Everybody using them, everybody likes them, it's a good thing. Right. But if the price is high and people stop buying it, that's bad for Lego. See, the, the thing about the new city road plates is, is if you're just if you're just building the little city sets, they're fine. Right, but people and Alex, I think, just did a video, or maybe it's Jason's fault. Anyway, it's, they did a video, excuse me, and where everybody that's coming from the old road plates to the new ones, everything's raised up. The street is higher than the ground, right? But if you do mills plates like I do on my my city, they work perfect because the streets below the mills. Because the the street's not as high, so for me it worked out great. I like it, but I yeah. can see people who build like Alex Nunes does. It, it they don't work as well for him, and he well, don't just, like that they don't have curves. As someone who is an a fool, and I've been a, a Lego fan for many years since uh, the earliest of the uh, road plates. Uh, just get ready, in four or five years, you'll have a different one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. It's the one thing they've never carried the same road plate for more than a few years. Right. Right. Our road plate system. It'd be nice if they did come up with something that was backwards compatible or just like, this is what it's going to be. We may make adjustments later. I guess they just never figured it out. 
It is odd because the track is the track. The train track has been has been compatible for sixty years. So yeah. When you brought those road plates, Joey, were they are they still available? Because I know they're discontinued from like Walmart and. But are they still are they retired? Or are they still available? I don't think they're, they're retired from Lego yet. I know they were out of stock for a long time. But you're saying, uh, like the road pack that Walmart had. Right, you're saying Walmart, this discontinued? Walmart, discon Walmart discontinued it. Uh, you can buy them right now. Uh, three, uh, limit three off of Lego.com. Okay. All right, so they're not. It's just Walmart discontinued. Them. I wonder why. I bet it wasn't a very good seller at Walmart. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, it's uh, not strange, but I mean, I could see it. Uh, Keel Jones or Kale? Is it Kale? Kale? Kyle? Kyle? <laughs> I'm so good. I'm so good with names. We, it's a episode. This is episode seventy of the Will Butcher Kyle, Kyle Jones name. Well, Kyle, he bought a bunch of stormtroopers and Spider Man for me. He did, and I realized that whenever I was pulling the order, I didn't realize it until I was pulling the order and looked at the and looked at the bottom. He didn't even realize it was me till he, till he was leaving feedback. And he just wanted to let you guys know that my stormtroopers were cheaper than yours. <laughs> 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 have you, you know, ever done that? It's like, you know, Brian from Battery Powered Bricks, I think had ordered for me like three times before I realized it was him. Him. Because <laughs> then I was like, wait a minute. He's unboxing a package for me. And I'm like, I should come to him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Chris Cummings says his perception of the yearly profit. They want to have money available to purchase property. Invest in new video games and then some shiny new objects. Uh, this podcast is like night school. <laughs> I, hope I hope that means he's taking notes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hope that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, Gears and Bricks left us a timestamp. If we can't recall what we don't remember saying, did we ever talk about it? <laughs> if a tree falls in the forest, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. I remember the uh, the early days of YouTube making a video and not knowing if anybody would watch it. Right. Not, let alone, we didn't have subscribers. <laughs> I can remember the very first. It was when I was doing the first, uh, the the portable layout, the ones that we me and Heather used to take to the train shows, and there I got to a certain point and I just I filmed a little bit of it and, and I put it on YouTube. Don't know why, but I put it on YouTube. I'm just gonna put this on. I guess because there's a lot of people who had train videos or just running, and it got like three views, and I panicked. Like, you panicked who's watching this? Who's watching this? How does anybody <laughs> even find this? You know, like like my first subscribers. Who are these people? Why are they following me? Can I get rid of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brick Jam says Atlanta BrickCon is owned by Nick and Amanda Ferguson. Who are members of the Peach Lug? Peach Lug. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about it. Here's a name that I've that I've caught on to. <laughs> so I've learned this one, Kyle. So yours is next one on my list. <laughs> Sin Killer Tachikawa. <laughs> <laughs> the problem center. My whole brain is a problem center. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can relate to that. Uh, let's see. And then he, uh, he left the, the, our last comment. Should you need any further free labor, I would be happy to help. I have quite a few years of Discord administration experience, including far more troublesome communities. <laughs> <laughs> our, our community, our disc, our, our uh, a fool Discord is actually pretty active. It's not, it's not too bad. Yeah, uh, Duncan and Brian. Yeah, well, and, you uh, get in there, and yeah, the only I'll person who doesn't get in there is Bricks are. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Jabo, I mean, uh, Jabo, James, o, he says I he apologized for finding it so late. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forget about it. It's like I don't get notifications. I maybe I got to figure out. You must have turned them off because yeah, the, the other day I on. I added you. I thought, well, surely this will send a message out that we're talking Wait, about I, him. <laughs> Wait, don't I? I mean, I uh, I thought I followed it. You are. You're in there. Is Let's it see. an app? Is is? It, what's yeah, the, you can go to a web page or an app. Yeah. What's it called again? 
what's a discord Dis- discord rd discord how do i get to it i don't have a discord app so then you got to go to the discord web page that must be how you're looking so this video has 744 views which we're getting close to averaging a thousand views in the first couple of weeks i know a lot of them go over that right which i think is pretty good there you should have just got a notification in the discord i just sent a yeah, notification. I, did. <laughs> I didn't well i said it i added you I'm so still it's trying your- to find Discord. okay there it is it looks like a game controller yes, yes. Style your profile. What? But is it? Is it an app? Style it in profile. You, you, if you're on your phone, you can get an app. Yes. I don't know. Say, I got this open, so I don't know if it's an the passenger list. It went right to, but now closed. Now I don't know where it is. <laughs> Brian's got to. If you're on the so passenger it. list, that's my. Okay, I do have that. So now, how do I make it where it tells me somebody sent me a message? Brian, Brian is the, the the mediator. He always comments. He's going to want to know what he missed. Is it yeah. in chronological order? It's in chronological order, yes. So if you're in the A full one, there's just the general chat. Well, there's actually a bunch of Brian's really gone to town here. You got the guest list, general chat, content creation. Um oh hey, look, Brickzar just logged in. Um so how do I get notified? Uh hey Brian. It's gotta be somewhere in a city. Hey Brian. Hey at battery. Let's see, battery powered bricks. Help settings at brick czar. <laughs> oh, no frogs. At brick czar. Just to, do you have all messages? Is Discord. <laughs> all messages. Uh, I think this says mute. Am I, am I muting you? Oh, if you have mute turned on, yeah, you're muting me. Muting the the thing. No, I don't want to do that. What's this mean? I don't know what I did. <laughs> Notification settings, all messages. You should be getting all messages then. Yeah. Okay, so I just set that. It was nothing was. Maybe set. your phone is. Now send battery. me a message and let me see if I get it. <gasps> oh, battery. Brian just responded. Did you get that alert? Yeah, I got the. Adi- I, I might do it. it again because I had it, uh, the app open, so I got the app closed. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my phone off. This is this now, is good content right here. Let me just tell you, we are content creators. <laughs> wait a minute, hang on. Somebody type this. something in battery power bricks cord. is typing right a minute, right at the moment. <laughs> hang on, let me just do it. I can't figure good. out how to change my avatar. Oh. If if because every time I try to change my avatar, it wants me to pay to pay for oh, it. This is I, what you're missing when you're not in the uh, Discord of the passenger list. No, no. Yeah, this is the AFL. This is only the guests of the AFL podcast, the one you're looking at. The passenger list is if you're a member of my channel. So did, there are actually two different Discords that I have set up. So if you see the AFL logo, that's the oh. AFL. If you see the brick trains red with yellow, the yellow sign... That's that is the uh, passenger list. Well, let me go to the passenger list and at you there. Hey, Je- oh yeah, there you are. I see it. You you just sent. I can wave at you. Hang on, I can. So wave I wasn't you. in the other one. How do no. I get to the other one? Well, let me send you. You're in it because you're. But I must I have just, notifications turned off. Or so it's usually to the left, and you'll have two or however many discords you're in. And you just have to click on the A full icon, and that'll take you into that Discord. So, which one am I? Saying? Go to the A full one. Yeah, click on that one. Is this it? Is this it? <laughs> okay. Tell him you just post the link. Cheap tipper truck parts. He'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. Yes. This is so, <laughs> Joey, have you built? Have you uh, did a video on that club car yet? <laughs> I did. Did it not go live? Well, did you did I... the one. You did the one with the uh, with okay. the hall when you got it. It's but I don't not... think you've done you, the review of it. You're right. I don't see it. Uh, Monorail Park. I oh wow. 
Um, because I was gonna that sink piece you're missing that little tile. Yeah. When I did my red one, I mean, I know you want to have the you want to be you want the set to be complete, but there's actually a little sink. Oh, piece I got all no, I get notifications off. So now I should get notifications. Okay. It was actually a little faucet setting. Oh, is your Apple, your Mm -hmm. dreaded smartphone. Oh, now I got like all these notifications. (laughs) Now it's going to drive you crazy. (laughs) So like I'm such a creature of habit. It's like I'll use old technology when other people have long left it because it's just what I was used to. Right. Uh Mm-hmm. So it's like I still use Instagram for messages. People send me an email, and I'm like, oh, I can still use email, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Instagram just became more of a messaging service for me than a picture sharing. Instagram thing. is kind of cool in that regard because you don't, you could kind of ignore it for a little bit. You know, it's not like it's immediately in your face, I guess, is what mm-hmm. I'm trying to say. And you can, um, um, I don't know. It, it's there's a lot of other messaging services and stuff. And I just want, and so this is my problem. Like I, I did the the not the video that I posted that you had started watching, but the last one before that, somebody had maybe it was two videos. I can't remember. Anyway, somebody asked me about the um the remote control car thing, right? Piece. Two, I think two different people asked me. Okay. And I finally found it, and then I couldn't find the message. I didn't know. I couldn't remember what message service they used. Right. <laughs> MMK. My, my, what does MMK mean as an acronym? I sent the link to Brian. I told him, I said, you need to come help. And he replied with MMK. Maybe. Oh, wait, he he sounds like he's with it, with like with all the, the acronyms. He's like a hip is. kid, man. Come on. <laughs> what we'd say right i don't know if he's gonna jump in but we're we're getting close to being done anyway so yeah be, hey brian bye brian yeah <laughs> oh might make it Mike. no that's not it no now, now he's got to watch the podcast to find out and so he could tell us what mmk is well, unless we, got, he comes we, to- we got sidetracked again we did yeah oh we're while we're, i do have one something that i want to talk I have had a rash. I don't know how to say a rash. Maybe, maybe three or four <laughs> rash. I have an ointment for that. I have an ointment. Oh, thank you. Uh, you sound right. like it's, it's the it's the shaving ointment. It's it's the it's the uh, slicer oil you put on the wash rag. Is uh, <laughs> so. At any rate, I have lost parts in my store where they're not where they're supposed to be. And I've I've been able to always find them, you know. Unfortunately, oh. you do the gotta go and look and f- and I find them, and you know it it's gotten annoying. I'm like I can't be this bad at it. I've Why? got I'm I'm telling you I I I have known of several glitches where you know I don't get a lot of orders like you do, Jabo. So sometimes if you have parts left in your drawer, it's because you might have another order that those parts that are left go in. I'll pull eight and Bricklink tells me I'm done. And I don't have one left where it's a counting mistake. I have 10 left. Right. And it's like, what's going on here? And I have three parts in my stock room that I cannot find. They're not mislabeled. They, I just can't find, find them. them. So, so they're in my stock room. So Joey, is it the same thing where you have pieces that you should still have in your store, but you there's none left in the drawer. Right. Or? So let, it, let's say they're in, it says they're in drawer twelve, and I I have A and B right because I have front yeah. and back, and I have a divider, so the parts are divided. And I'll go to that drawer, go to drawer twelve, and I'll look in there, and it's two different parts, and I'm like, hmm. and I'll go and I'll find them, and they'll be in a different drawer, and it's like, why? What is going on? But I think I figured it out. I haven't gone back and actually tested it to prove it, but when I sell all the parts out of one of those sections, Mm -hmm. that drawer gets set to the side. So right over there, there's like three or four of them right now. And I'll either put new parts in or I'll combine those and then put them back up. 
I think if I have an order that I haven't picked and I change those drawers and they happen to be the parts happen to be in that order, I don't think the order is updating. It's like when you pull the order or when the order is created in BrickLink, it grabs that remarks, but those remarks are not changing if I change them. So if I move the drawer before I pick the order, I've basically hidden them from the order. Oh, well, I never do that. <laughs> I, well, it's a oh, very... Yeah, don't, <clears throat> yeah, don't, don't do that. that right? Don't move <laughs> drawers while you're... And I That's do, what... I look when yeah. I and when I like is if I'm adding parts to the store while there's also pending orders that I haven't picked, I, I kind of look to see if yeah. that part is in the order. Yeah. And another but, thing that happens is when the drawer gets zeroed out, mm -hmm. even though I don't retain, like mm -hmm. some people will retain it because they want to put that same part in that same drawer right. later. It for whatever reason, I'll get these orders and it'll be like. Every zeroed out drawer, it still shows in stock room A. Huh. So if I was to add that part again to the store, it's going to get confused. right. Yeah, I, I think I always yeah. have to go out and I, I went through today and I hadn't done it in a couple of weeks and I had like fifteen items that showed in z quantity of zero. Wow, and I had to delete them. Okay, so we now have official Discord help on the oh, show. There you go. <laughs> He's what? here. <laughs> what? <laughs> See the power of Discord. Just reach out and say, Brian. So if you help. were, if you were in the the whatever which Discord it was, he found us in. You were, you could have been on the A Fool podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, who's left? It's just us. It's just all. It's just. What is up with Bricksmith? He is always in the thing, but it says he has a little crescent moon so i guess he's asleep bricksmith <laughs> it's like if, i think if you I, I think you manually set it to a way or maybe it does that automatically if you have um a full screen application up i'm not really ah, sure uh, well if you look right now if you look right now it's like there's three people that are offline right now yeah brick adjuster dunkster bricks and lego my james o it's like yeah. three in the morning and Dumpsters. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> I mean, would, how would you? Why would you turn it offline? I mean, if it's unless they don't have the app and they're just not signed. Well, it's in. showing right now. You're offline. I'm offline. It's what it says right now. Well, he okay. was there with the phone icon. I have it. I have the the PC software, you know, the application. So, like, I'm always going to be there. Probably, right? Probably yeah, you are. Away. No matter whenever I, I, I come in, it's like, oh, oh, Brian's oh I got I'm you. So what, I'm totally on the me his analytics. So I, if I don't have the app open, I'm offline. Yes. yes. But I get alerts, and then I'll click the alert, and so right. then I'll get online. I got you. So when I'm uh, – since I can't see it when I'm I, – I just use the web page, right? But my web my browser is always open on my computer. So I assume – do I go to sleep like Bricksmith then or – have you ever noticed? What does it show me doing right, right now, now? It shows you right now with you got, a mobile phone. Yeah. Oh. Shows okay. You. So I'm going to close my phone. So okay. My, now somebody type something. I'll see if I get a notification. Hey, that's Milo. Hey, Milo. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I got a notification. Battery powered pricks. So now, see, this is, see, I wasn't getting these before. It worked. So now if I'm gonna like, at you. So now I may get annoyed if, if if we had like this one of these discords that had. So why can't I change it. my avatar, yeah. Brian? Uh, you would do it through the actual Discord settings. Um, again, I'm more used to the the actual application on a computer. Um, because I when know I try for, to for the when I try to change ahead. my avatar, it tells me unlock it with Nitro. No, don't do that. I know. Unless you no. want to pay for it. No. <laughs> Uh, is large. your avatar too large or something? The file size? I'm not really sure. No, it it won't let me go that far. If Unless I, I got like the... grandfathered in and they're charging for it now. No, okay. okay. Java just popped up and he's got his avatar. So is that what yours looks like? Me? Your application? Mm hmm. Uh, or is that kind of. So here's, yeah, you got to click yeah. on this icon well, down here I, and right I, there. I, Wait, I don't have that. Did I call Keith Bryan? I just got video? like a. 
No, I don't think so. <laughs> are you on an app or are you on the web page? No, he said uh, oh, Dad yeah. Bob just commented. He did? Dad yeah. Bob did? No, no, that's the, uh, I'm on the, the app. Brakes. Oh, he's in the okay, yeah, he did. Old dog new tricks. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So now we have two conversations going on because we have... I'm very confused. This is... <laughs> so look, I'm on the I won't app. know this which conversation I'm like. in. You know, this is what mine looks like. You need to go dark mode. <laughs> it should be in the bottom <laughs> right-hand corner should be your icon. If you just click on it, it'll bring up your settings. I believe. No, it's not there. I got a, On the bottom, I got a plus, a present, and then the, the message box for me to type in. Uh, I don't know. Oops, I just closed the Discord app. This is great content, though, guys. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> this is what the people subscribe for. I know. <laughs> oh, just look. We thought we were going to get done early. Yeah, well, we probably... I This is my four in the morning day, so we probably... <laughs> oh, no. We're fine. We're good. <laughs> yeah, I mean... the. You know, it, from it's like the fifth one over it should be next to the notification. It won't. I don't know what will be there if you don't have an avatar, but that's where all your like settings are. It yeah. sounds like he's in the channel. So you need to come out of the channel. So hit at the top on the top left. You should have that little three lines. Uh -huh. If okay. you click that, that uh -huh. should take you out to all your discords. Well, I can add a banner. <laughs> oh, banner color. Wait, what's I've got thing, get nitro? I've got the list of all the I've got all Brian's I got text channel, guest list, general yes, chat, yes. Just, just so down at the oh, yes, it does oh, nitro cost oh, okay. money. Are we getting there? So, is it under account? This is where Brian will have to help you now. No, see if I go under profiles, it wants to unlock with nitro. Really? Uh huh. Profiles. Yeah, that's where mine is. Okay, so this is what it should look like, right? Something like that. Get my face out of it. And then if you hit profile, I you should get something like this. Right? But yeah, I got you, a blue. Uh, yeah. You got the little blue blobby guy, right? Yeah. So click on, see where I have my Brick Trains logo? There's yeah. a little pencil right there. If yeah. you click on that. It says unlock with nitro. Yeah, that's fine. Just um, click. I, I can't add a banner. <laughs> Get above nitro. The... Nine nine out a month. No, oh right. my God. But it's, click above it, <laughs> Earl, right there. <laughs> click above it. Hold on. It doesn't look like a button. Now I got to get back. Stupid. That's Stupid how they get you. Uh huh. They make they it look like the only thing. I and then like just above it, a little tiny text. <laughs> yes. Uh, it reminds me of this new Lego game they're coming out with. <laughs> I bet you that's what's going to be. <laughs> Lego's like, oh, we got this great idea. We're going to make this game. We're going to charge everybody one hundred twenty dollars, and there's going to be in-game, in-app purchases, and we're going to make a ton of money. Mm hmm. And nobody's yeah. going to play it. And nobody's going to buy it. Yep. So profiles, out, profiles, click the pencil. Yep. Don't click the green unlock with nitro. I got it. I got there it. There we are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you did it. You did I'm, it. I'm in now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> hey, Jabbo. Yeah. Why don't you get us out of here? Because I got to go oh. pee. <laughs> 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 and it's been two hours. Well, thank you for watching another. <laughs> was this called a full podcast? If you're as confused as we are, <laughs> join our Discord. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know what Discord is. We have an ointment for that. We'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Thanks for, yeah, thanks for popping in, Brian. Yeah, Brian. Thank you <laughs> for sure. <laughs>